What's up everyone? Welcome to day four. And today's workout, we're going to do a mixture of isometric holds and cardio. So we have three groups. Each group has four exercises and we're going to alternate between a hold and a cardio exercise. So we're doing some good work in a static position, but then we're going right into a cardio exercise to get that heart rate up. So timing is 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You're going to move on to the next station once you're done each round. 30 second break, three rounds. So the first group you need to do with or without weights, you're going to start off with a lunge hold. So one foot forward, one foot back. Drop that back knee, chest up. You're going to hold that position. You can even use one dumbbell here if you prefer. And you do that for 30 seconds. Once that's done, 10 second break. If possible, use two weights here for a swing snatch. So you're going to hinge from the hips, and then come up, press overhead. Hinge and press. One smooth motion, very similar to the dumbbell snatch that we did during that performance test, except you're not switching arms, and it's two dumbbells rather than one. After that, we're going to do a push-up hold. You can do this one on the floor or just on your weights, either on your toes or your knees. Nice and low and hold. This one's a pretty advanced exercise to do from your knees or from your toes. So if you have to drop down, that's fine. Make sure you keep those elbows in. Get that full range of motion. Don't stop too short. And the last one will be jump squats. For those who want a really tough workout, you can do that one with weights as well. Take a break. Three rounds of that. Second group, hopefully you guys can see it over here. We're going to go wall sit. Nice and low against the wall, 90 degree angle with the legs. So you're just going to hold that position. If you don't have access to the wall, no problem. You're just going to hold, squat. After that, we have high knees, sprinting on the spot. After the high knees, we have a body weight plank. Tuck in those hips in, keep your legs straight, and just hold that position. After that plank, you're going to do half burpees. So push up position, feet in, feet up. If you're not comfortable with that, you can do plank jacks instead, which brings your feet out and then brings them back in. So wall sit, high knees, plank, half burpees, three times through that. Final group here, we're going to start with the hip reach. You can place some weight on your hips here if you like, and you're just going to hold that position. So you'll hold that for 30 seconds. After that, told you guys we get back to this again, get ups. So you're gonna work on your get ups here, all the way back, and come up. Same thing we did day one with that performance test. So keep working on your get ups, lots of speed, lots of explosiveness for that one. Next we have a bicep hold. So you want 90 degrees with the arms here, holding those biceps. If the weight's too heavy, you drop down to one weight. You want the elbows slightly in front of your ribcage, really tucked in, not out here, but also not pulled back. Make sure your arms aren't too high or too low, 90 degrees with that bicep pull. Last one is going to be a skater, so you're going to push off one side, side to side. Keeping that chest up the whole time. Of course, if you want to make that one more advanced, again, you can use dumbbells, but don't have to do that. So we'll start off with station number one here, lunge hold, swing snatch, Push up, hold, and jump squat. So get ready, get in position, we'll start in a few seconds. Okay, so that lunge hold, remember it's up to you to do this one if you want to do it with weights or without weights. Keep in mind we have three rounds, so you're going to end up doing one side, one more set than the other. General rule of thumb, if you have an odd number of sets, always try to do that extra set on your weaker side. All right, so we'll start with that lunge hold with or without weights, depending on the level you're at. We're going to start in three, two, one, go. So 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You can go one dumbbell here, you can go two dumbbells, you can drop the weight. If you want that back knee, but a couple inches off the ground, keeping your chest up, keep your back straight. Make sure you're not doing this, so the back leg shouldn't be extended. You want that bend. Got about 10 seconds to go. After this, we'll take a 10 second break and get into that swing snatch. Three, two, one. Good, take 10 seconds. So two weights here. Hinge, not a squat, and press overhead. Keep the weights close to your body. Three, two, one, go. So hinge, and press. Controlled on the way down. Great full body exercise here. 
works the entire body, but also really gets that heart rate up. So definitely I would classify this one as a cardio exercise. Because the more you do this one, the more you really feel that heart rate get up. 10 seconds, make sure your back is straight. Never want to grab the back here. Shouldn't be feeling this one a little back up. Three, two, one, 10 second break. Push up, elbows up next. Elbows in if you can. Nice and low, holding that position. Two, one, let's go. So try to get nice and low here. This one, 30 seconds is a long time for a lot of people to hold this push up. So if you do need to take a break or two, that's totally fine. Try not to arch that back, lift up your chest. Instead, stay in that neutral position for as long as you can. You've got about 10 seconds to go. Keep going. Three, two, one. All right, last one here is gonna be a jump squat with or without weights, and then we'll take a break and we'll do two more times. Three, two, one, go. So the higher you jump here, the harder it's gonna be. You can make it easier by just doing a regular squat without the jump, or even doing jumping jacks instead if you still want to do that cardio exercise. Of course, holding the two weights makes it that much more challenging for those of you who really want to step it up. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and break. So take 30 seconds. We're going to go through that circuit two more times before moving on to the next group. If it makes you feel better, looking at these three groups, this one looks to be the hardest one. So you want to get this one out of the way. While you have lots of energy, while you're feeling good, then hopefully it gets easier from here. So we'll lunge hold, we're going to switch legs this time, we're going to do the exact same thing. So with or without weights, your call. We'll start in three, two, one. So the lunge hold, really want to feel this one in the quad, both quads really. That's the good thing with the lunges, you are working both legs, even though it's a single leg exercise. It also really helps to identify, correct any sort of weaknesses. You'll notice that one side's easier than the other. Generally speaking, that's when you have a dysfunction maybe that you need to correct. Less than 10 seconds to go, swing snatch is up next. Three, two, one. Okay, swing snatch. Two dumbbells, hinge, press overhead, one smooth motion. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. So feet should be about shoulder width apart. You want to make sure you give your dumbbells enough room to actually go inside the knees, but you also don't want to go super wide with the stance. Shoulder width is a pretty good happy medium here. The weight should only be on your heels. Dumbbells should be staying close to your body as you press overhead. So it's not like you're doing a front raise. It's more of a press or a snatch. Three, two, one. Push up hold, coming up next. So as we make one of these sets, this one's going to get harder and harder. Ready? Let's go. So get in that position. Once you're in that position, try to create some tension and focus on stability. Just holding that position. Some of you may be better with the holds, some of you may be better with the cardio. That's why it's really important to test both. We've got about 10 seconds to go. Jump squats are next. Okay, three, two, one, and break. Jump squats next. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. If you really want to try to be explosive here, jump up as high as you can. Squeeze your quads, walk into the knees during the jump, but always land with nice soft knees. So you never want to land with your legs extended. It's like you're jumping on the trampoline, and you want to kind of absorb that cushion on the way down. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Take 30 seconds. One more round here. So remember the lunge hold, choose that side that you found most difficult to do the extra setup. 
15 more seconds, we want to grab some water, we can grab some water down. We want to stay moving. Good set to warm up up here. Really gets that heart rate up, really gets you warmed up. All right, lunge hold. In three, two, one, let's go. Set three. So final round here. Take a look at that back knee. It doesn't have to be like super low to the ground, but it should be an inch or two off the ground. Front foot always stays flat. Knee is tracking over that foot. Chest is up. Notice that I'm not caved in. I'm not rolling my knee. That's definitely cheating for this one. So if you have to take breaks, or rather you take breaks, make sure you do it right while you're in that active position. Three, two, one. Next, we're going to do the swing snatch. Three more sets here. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. So hinge, press, overhead. Nice and smooth. If you're not comfortable using two weights, obviously you can modify and just do the one dumbbell swing or snatch, I should say. It makes it a lot easier. But if you're doing your right weight training issue, using your hips to really help you out. Three, two, one, push up, hold. Two more sets. All right, three, two, one. Find that position, get down, and then just hold. Squeezing your abs here, tuck your hips in, squeeze your quads as well. It's an advanced exercise, so it's really important that you create tension and you're not just going with the flow. You want to be active and intentional with this exercise. We got 10 to go, 10 more seconds. Let's keep going right to the end. Three, two, one. All right, last one here, jump squats. And then we'll move on to that second group. In three, two, one, let's go. So good exercise here for really building up that explosiveness, but also a cardio and conditioning exercise. Really gets your heart rate up. Ten seconds, guys. Last ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, great. Next set: wall sit, high knees, plank, half burpees. So we're gonna start off with that wall sit first. If you have space. You do the wall sit great. Otherwise, a squat wall is a good alternative here. We're going to get started in five seconds. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. So nice and low, 90 degrees. I don't really care what you do with the arms here. Just don't rest them on your leg, your legs. Make sure the head and shoulders aren't coming forward. Just hold the opposition. Stay in control. Go that way. It's a great exercise for building up and strengthening your quads, especially for those of you who have bad knees and for doing a squat or a lunge. It's a good alternative for that. Three, two, one. High knees coming up next. So we're looking for a sprint on the spot. Bring those knees up to your chest if you can. Three, two, one. Let's go. So stay on the balls of your feet. Really trying to get a good. Speed, intensity going here. This is the cardio exercise, so it's all about getting that intensity up. Halfway there. Low plank is up next. We're going to do low plank in 30 seconds. It should be a piece of cake. So let's really try to push here. Three, two, one. All right, 10 second break. Low plank low. Make sure you breathe in here. Make sure you're squeezing those abs. Three, two, one. Let's go. So just holding that plank position, tucking your hips. Make sure you're not dropping the hips. If your hips are a little too high, it's not ideal, but if you want to grab your back, then hips dropping down too low. We're going halfway there, breathing the whole time. Half burpees or plank jacks coming up next. 10 seconds. In 
in three, two, one. So half the East Coast plank jacks up next. And we'll start in three, two, one. So push up position, feet in, feet up. I find it's a little bit easier to have a pair of weights you don't lay your hands on. Just get a little bit more range of motion. But if you prefer the core, that's okay as well. Halfway. Last 10. Three, two, one, and break. So that's one round down. We got two to go. Take a 30 second break. We'll get back to the wall set in about 20 seconds. So three rounds of each here, three total groups. Good bang for your body workout. You get that good mixture of uh, cardio, but also the endurance of holding that isometric exercise. In 10 seconds, we're going to start with the wall set. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice and low. And then just hold. A lot of this one is uh, mental toughness, being able to just focus and hold, whether it's listening to music or thinking about something, but taking your mind off what you're doing. As long as your core is good, it's a good idea to be able to hold someone really well. 10 seconds to go. Much easier to do with shoes rather than socks. You find that weight, start to slip. Three, two, one. High knees are up next. Okay, let's get ready in three, two, one, let's go. So sprinting on the squat, always in that active position. So you're on the balls of your feet, not landing on your full foot, just on your tippy toes here. That's where you're going to get your explosive power. We're about halfway there. And we have low plank pull coming up next. Last ten. Keep going, guys. Let's push. Three, two, one. So low plank hold next. We'll start in three, two, one. Let's go. Rolling that plank. Squeeze your abs. Be very intentional with the plank. Like I said, push up. You want to just kind of go with the flow. You want to squeeze your abs, squeeze your quads, and squeeze your glutes. Just doing that will naturally keep your back nice and safe and neutral. You got about 10 seconds to go. Make sure you're not holding your breath here so you're breathing the whole time. Three, two, one. All right, last one here will be the half burpees or plank jacks. And we'll take a break and one more round after this. Three, two, one. Let's go. Step forward, step back. Extension from your legs on the way back, so you're not just doing a really short chop position the whole time. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and break. So let's take 30 seconds. We're going to go through that one more time before moving on to the final move. Okay, so we'll go back to the wall sit. We'll start with 10 seconds. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, and go. So find that position. The weight should be equally distributed throughout the foot here. So it's not like only they get in the heels, not like only they get in the balls of your feet here. You really want three points of contact, the heel, the outside part of the foot right in the middle, and then the balls of your feet. And they should be evenly distributed there. Less than 10 seconds to go. High knees are up next. Three, two, one. Good. So high knees coming up next. In three, two, one. Let's go. Get that cardio up. 
going for speed, going for intensity here. Halfway, guys, keep going. Last 10 seconds. Try to keep pushing. Knees up, knees up. Three, two, one. All right, low plank position. You got two more sets here. Okay, three, two, one. Plank position. And at any point, guys, we'd love, love the feedback. So if you want to write some comments in the video below, or just want to send me a message, whether it's a question, a comment, a statement, uh, let's keep things engaging. And uh, all feedback is welcome. So let me know how the workout went. Let me know if there's any exercises you really like, didn't like. Let me know if there's anything that was particularly difficult or easy. Feedback is good. Three, two, one. All right, last one here. We're going to do the half of these. And then we'll take a break. Move on to that third and final group. Three, two, one. Let's go. As I'm sure you've noticed by now, the half burpees definitely the toughest exercise in this group. You want to save the best for last. You will have time to recover after this, so it's really good to do. Difficult exercises have the first or last. First because you have more energy, last because you have lots of time to recover after. Less than 10 seconds to go. Keep going. Three, two, one, and break. Hip range hold, get ups, bicep hold, and skater jumps. So the hip range hold you can do with or with your weight. If you want to make it harder, you can go single leg. You don't have to do that. The key here is really trying to engage your glutes. All right, let's get ready. We'll start in three, two, one. And go. So hips up. Just hold in that position. This one you want to dig in from the heels. You want your shins nice and vertical. You want your hips fully extended so there's no bend in the hips. And what you really want to try to do here is get those glutes engaged. You're going to feel this one a little bit in the hamstrings as well. You want to feel primarily in the glutes, then the hamstrings, but definitely no calf or low back. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, so get ups are up next. You can either practice your get ups or you can modify to another cardio exercise. Totally up to you. Three, two, one, let's go. So, for those of you who are still struggling with this, it really comes down to explosiveness, athleticism, and speed. So, if you're one of those people who really strives off like slow, controlled movements, you're going to have a really tough time with the get up because it's the exact opposite of that. 10 seconds. Really use your momentum. So go all the way back, all the way forward. Three, two, one. Next, when you do that bicep pull, you can go two dumbbells or one weight. Depends on how you get, depends on how you're going. Okay, ready? Let's go. So just holding that position. If the weight's in you, it's going to too heavy. Like I said, you're going to drop down to one weight and just hold that dumbbell by both ends. We're about halfway there. After this, we have the skaters. Like I said, if you want to make it really difficult, you can add weight to the skaters, but you definitely don't have to do that. If you're not adding weight, you want to go for explosiveness. Whereas if you're using weights, more control. Three, two, one. All right, skater hops next. So one foot pushing off. Great exercise to help with your hip and knee stability. Three, two, one. One, let's go, push it off side to side. So just like the get ups, the goal here is to really work on your explosive power. And this one requires a little more stability as well. Because you're landing, you don't want to bounce or land off balance type of thing. You want to land comfortably in a squat position and drive explosively to the other side. Less than 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, take a break, two more rounds. So, level three, you're probably going to find out or notice that this 
probably the easiest of the three. So you've got that hard work behind you already. Now what I want to see is just full intensity. Give me all you got to finish off strong. We're going to start with that hip bridge again. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So if you're finding that you're only putting this one in, let's say, your calves, chances are you're on the tippy toes here, the balls of your feet rather than your heels. Or you just have weak movements and hamstrings. If you're finding it predominantly in the hamstrings, make sure your feet aren't too far out in front. If you're feeling it mostly in the quads, make sure your feet aren't too close. You want to find that happy medium. Okay, three, two, one. All right, get ups. Up next. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Like I said last time, very athletic exercise. A lot of athletes use this as a warm up before the games, a warm up before the stretch, because it really activates those fast finish fibers. It's a full body movement. It requires a little bit of flexibility as well. Almost there. Bicep holds like this. Three, two, one. Two down, two to go. Bicep hold up next. All right, let's start at three, two, one. Let's go. So elbows in nice and tight. You can put palms up or palms in. It's your call. Make sure you're not pulling the weights in. Make sure you're not bringing the weights up to your chin. So you want to use your biceps and your forearms to help control that weight and just hold that position. We got about 10 seconds to go. Make sure you're nice and active in the core, the glutes, so you're not arching your back. Three, two, one. Skater jumps next. Okay, three, two, one. Skater jumps, we push off, side to side. The first most important thing here is that you control the landing. Once you control the landing, then I want you to focus more on that explosive jump off, side to side. Halfway there. Notice that I'm always staying up right here, not rounding from the back, letting my legs do all the work. Much more powerful, letting your legs do the work. Three, two, one. Alright, last round, you guys, one more round, then we're all done for today. Bridge, get ups, bicep pull, and skater jumps. We'll start out in 20 seconds. So let's get ready. Let me know when you're feeling the hip bridge, by the way. Seems like a simple exercise, but it's a really telling exercise about how well your glutes are firing, which is really important. Okay, three, two, one. Hips up. Oftentimes, a lot of uh, low back pain, knee pain, it can sometimes be attributed to having weaker glutes because your glutes act as shock absorbers. Meaning, every time you take a step when you're walking, if you have strong glutes, they should be kind of absorbing that shock rather than allowing your low back or knee to carry the brunt of it. So, squeeze your uh, glutes here, really be intentional with it. Three, two, one. Good, get ups up next. Three more sets for today. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. So explode up. And down. Explode up. Get ups one of those things. Once you get it, you'll never lose it. Because so much of it is technical. And it's a tough one to teach. Because you can't teach explosiveness. You can't really teach momentum. And then you gotta find that sweet spot when you're landing with your feet under you. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Two more sets. Five step hold coming up next. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. So, for those of you who like hybrid exercises, supersetting the bicep hold with the bicep prep. It's a good idea. I don't do it for the full minute. You can go 15 second hold, 15 second reps, just to get a little bit of added pump, blood flow to those biceps. We got 10 seconds to go. Skater jumps up next to finish things off. 
Three, two, one. Okay, last one. Skater jumps. And then we're all done for today. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. This is one of those exercises that can get sloppy when you get tired. So really dig deep. Make sure your form looks good. Use your legs, your chest up, back and straight, control the landing, and then explode on that push up. Side to side. We're more than halfway there. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Let's go right to the end. Three, two, one, and done. That's it for today, guys. Great workout. See you tomorrow for day five.